Welcome to our lecture online. What if we are given a capacitor that has a dielectric between the plates? In this case, let's say it's bakelite with a dielectric constant of 4.9 and a dielectric strength of 24 times 10 to the 6 volts per meter. That's 24 million volts per meter. But this time, they want, us, they want us to find the maximum charge that we're allowed to put onto the capacitor before we exceed the dielectric strength, before we have dielectric breakdown. So in this case, we're looking for the maximum charge. And there's a relationship between the electric field between the plates and the charge we put on the plates, and that can be found as follows. We know that the magnitude of the electric field is equal to the surface charge density onto the plate divided by the dielectric constant times epsilon sub naught. And since the charge density can be written as, as the charge Q divided by the area, so we replace that, we end up with Q over K epsilon sub naught times A. So here we see that there's a relationship between the amount of charge on the plates and the strength of the electric field. And of course, the electric field cannot exceed the dielectric strength. So the way to solve it then is to go ahead and solve this equation for Q and plug in for the electric field, the maximum electric field the dielectric can withstand. Which means that from this equation, we end up with Q max is equal to E max times K epsilon sub naught times A. They do give us the area right there and notice we don't care about the distance between the plates because there's no relationship between the distance between the plates and the strength of the electric field. So in this case, that will be equal to Q max is equal to the maximum strength, which is 24 times 10 to the sixth volts per meter times K. K in this case is 4.9. Then we have epsilon sub naught, and it looks like I am going to run out of space. So let me go ahead and bring that down a little bit. So I don't have that crunch problem. So let's come down here. So we have Q max is equal to E max, which is 24 times 10 to the sixth volts per meter. K for bakelite, 4.9. Epsilon sub naught. 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12 coulomb squared per newton meter squared and the area in this case is going to be 200 centimeters squared of course we have to convert that to meter squared that's a square right here as so that would be 1 over 10,000 there's 10,000 square centimeters in a square meter and uh, that's it nothing in the denominator so let's go ahead and see what we end up with. 24e to the sixth times 4.9 times 8.85e to the 12 minus times 200 divided by 10,000 equals, it looks like 2.08 times 10 to the minus 5 coulombs. 2.08. So, so that would be Q max is equal to 2.08 times 10 to the minus 5 coulombs. So that could be written as 20.8 microcoulombs, Q max. And so you put any more charge onto those plates than that, the electric field will be too large and it will exceed that dielectric strength and you will destroy your capacitor. And that's how it's done.